All right, we are sitting low once again. It's XL Middleton coming at you live and direct from my living room. Sitting low right here on this footrest that just so happens to be the perfect place for me to kick back and listen to my records. You know, since it's the holidays and we know that it's best to be home for the holidays, I'm going to start right here at home with some of the new MoFunk releases that are coming your way. Now this right here, this is the I Said XL Middleton remix of Call Me Up. And you know I love doing remixes. And this is one of my favorite remixes that I've done for a long time. So let me just go ahead and throw this on for you. Goes a little something like this. Just a little something you could step to, you know? Any of you guys got the uh, interpretations album from I Said? Then you heard the OG. So, you know, I just put my twist on it. Electric piano, Rhodes keys, synth bass. Electric bass played by none other than the City Pop bassist. So yeah, that's the uh, I Said XL Middleton remix of Call Me Up. On the 7 inch, on the other side, we got the remix of Reflect, Thought It Was You, a remix by I Said himself, still featuring Monica. So you know you can get that from our website, mofunkrecords.com. So the other new MoFunk release I just wanted to put your eyes and your ears on comes to you by way of a mysterious new artist by the name of Delmar Xavier the Seventh. Now, of course, there's a lot of, uh, you know, rumors and hearsay floating around. They keep saying that it's me just doing edits and it's an alias I came up with. You know, like I said, it's all it's all unsubstantiated and, and unconfirmed, you know. <laughs> so I'm going to just I'm going to just throw on um, a couple of the edits from this project, you know. Um, these are just tracks that that I or rather Delmar. Um felt like had really dope elements but just kind of needed like a I don't know just a few little changes you know like a little bit of trimming of the fat a little bit of uh, restructuring rearrangement maybe some extra drums to kind of like just give it that extra, extra little depth make it hit that much harder but the approach to these edits was really to make make them into a uh, songs that you really more so want to listen to you know i know that a lot of edits are really just to like take a classic song and just kind of like make it pump that much harder for the dance floor but that wasn't really the intention with this project you know it's more so just digging out these obscure jams and um just putting them in a new context if you will i think that's the best way that i could explain it Giving new context to old music, you know? We're going to get into something new 
uh, coming at you from all the way around the world from uh, from Korea. This is the new Mogwa. And I know that a lot of you already know him from, uh, you know, dropping releases on Star Creature and a few other labels. So this new release right here, I'm really digging because it's, you know, it's just a, it's a laid back kind of vibe, you know? It's not like dance floor material. You know, this is like, you know, the Neon City with the steam coming out of the grate on the sidewalk kind of feel. And that's what you call a bass patch right there. And of course, big thank you to Chris Keen Skeenery for putting me up on this one. A shout out to those folks over at 8 Ball Town. That's the label that put this out. This track is actually called, I don't know what it's called, it's in Korean, but uh, is dope. Yeah. Yeah, once again, shout out to Mogwa. Brand new release that just came out on 8 Ball Town Records out of Korea. All right, I'm going to drop one last one for you guys before I dip out of here. Uh, this last one is coming at you by way of the legendary DJ Frain. Now, it is the holidays, so maybe I should be dropping my Christmas at the Iceberg 7-inch. Shout out to my Iceberg homies in Portland. But Frain did just put out this new 7-inch. It's called Straight to the Head. b size called Gummy. I'm going to rock the A-side for you guys. This is Frayne like you have maybe never heard him before. On some modern boogie business. Now, a lot of you know Frayne as a dope DJ, incredible producer. He's also crazy on the keys. Don't sleep. It's also a trip. Frayne gets all his stuff mastered to this day at Bernie Grundman Mastering. Now, if you read album credits, you know they mastered pretty much every album that ever came out. Ever. So that's the trip, you know? I just wanted to let it run into the break before I get out of here. Kind of a fusion y break or something, you know? Kind of took us to the marina with this part. It's like we went from George Clinton to George Benson. <laughs> All right, y'all. I will catch you guys real soon. If I don't do another one of these before uh, uh, Christmas or New Year's, uh, then uh, I'll catch y'all in 2021, you know? Enjoy your holiday. 